I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move here. Ooh, 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 here. What's up, everybody? I'm Mike. I'm Nick. We are the Brothers of Murphy. It's time to return to the game house. Boom. For some Teotihuacan. This chonky thing. <laughs> Uh, the Deluxe Master set of Teotihuacan from Board and Dice, who's sponsoring this play. Thank you so today. much, Board and Dice. Indeed, yeah, this is the big Deluxe um, set that's going to be out on Kickstarter, I believe. So follow the link down in the description below for that. Yep, indeed. So this is going to have everything for uh, Teotihuacan in one box. That's why it's a big guy, uh, all deluxified and everything. And we are going to play with all the expansions that have been made for Teotihuacan in one big oh, game. Yeah. We're going for it. We're going for it. Before we get into all of that, we're going to go over an overview of the deluxe and all the expansions, all that kind of stuff. So check out the overview. Make sure to give this video a like, a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you later. In Teotihuacan Deluxe Master Set, players will be treated to all the content ever made for Teotihuacan in one big box. The game will also come with deluxe component upgrades and player pieces so you can dive even deeper into the fun of this game. Players each now have a player board and there's a double-sided board with alternate art. In Teotihuacan, players control worker dice who get stronger each time they activate. Each turn you'll choose one of your unlocked dice to move up to three spaces clockwise around the board and then you can take the main action of that space, collect cacao, or you can worship by locking your die. When taking the main action, first pay cacao for each different color of die present before your die arrived at that space. Then you can take an action, and often the power of the dice present at that action space will affect what you get out of that action space. On spaces 2, 3, and 4, you can collect woodstone and gold, and here the strength of your lowest die will determine the column, and the amount of dice you have at that space determine the row, and you gain resources and other bonuses based on these two factors. Once you have some resources, you may want to spend them on various actions of the board. The fifth action space allows you to gain technologies, giving you more out of the actions you do, and now you can store reminders for this on your player board. The sixth action space allows you to build buildings and move up the avenue of the dead, which will score you points during each eclipse. The seventh action allows you to adorn the pyramid in the center of the table with decorations by spending gold, and the eighth action spot allows you to work on building the pyramid itself, which will grant you points for matching symbols, and if the matching symbol is colored, you may advance on the associated temple track. The first action space is the palace, which allows you to gain benefits by locking dice. If you find yourself low on cacao, rather than taking the main action, you can collect cacao, which will always grant you one plus one cacao per different colored dice present on the action space, excluding your current die. You can also go to many action spaces and choose to work worship by locking a die, advancing on a temple, and or taking a discovery tile. Discovery tiles have a wide range of benefits. As dice move and take actions, they will become more and more powerful. Once a die of power level 5 increases, that worker instead ascends and becomes a level 1 worker once again. Each time a die ascends, you move up the avenue of the dead and get to choose a bonus which may grant cacao, temple advancements, points, or even a fourth worker which begins as a level 3 worker. After each player has taken a turn in the round, the eclipse marker advances. This is also true anytime a worker die ascends. When the white and black marker meet, the current round completes and all players get one more turn before an eclipse takes place. Here you score points for your progress on the Avenue of the Dead, for any masks you've collected, and for how much you've worked on the pyramid during that third of the game. Here each of your workers must also be fed cacao or you lose three points per unfed worker. Players then continue playing, building and collecting resources while advancing on the temple tracks and after three eclipses, players score for any temple bonus spaces they reached and the player with the most points wins. Like we mentioned, the Teotihuacan Deluxe Master Set comes with all the expansions and promos released in the past along with the Deluxe component upgrades. Briefly, the late pre-classic period expansion offers priests and priestesses, which give players asymmetric powers to make everyone have a unique advantage and disadvantage in the game. This expansion also offers a fourth temple track to advance to unlock abilities which can be tracked on a player's board. This expansion also provides seasonal abilities which affect the game until the next eclipse when a new season card is drawn. The Shadows of Zittle expansion offers new and exciting technologies to explore, while the expansion period expansion offers obsidian as a wild resource players can use, it upgrades the palace board to the mansion, and shamans who have special action boards between the main action spaces giving them bonuses, and the conquest board replaces the sixth action space which allows players to explore with warriors and settle in different regions beyond their original home in Teotihuacan. All of these expansion materials will live in one box with newly upgraded graphic design and a two-sided player board with different art to match each player's preferences. Mike, we're doing with everything. We're going all in. We're doing all of it. Every single everything in this game. I think the only thing that's not different is we don't have other technology tiles. <laughs> that's it. Everything else is in here. All the expansions. Yeah. We're just gonna YOLO it and yeah. go for it. To be fair, we've played this game with all the we've expansions. We've gone all in. Nick, this is not our first time going full send on Teotihuacan. It is right? not. Calm down. Although with this new version, um, it oh, is. Yeah. And with as it goes without saying, 
prototype components. Um, yes. Uh, the art, I think, is like you were saying, is probably pretty far done. Yeah. But just know things may change. Things may change. Um, like some of the screen printing and stuff. This is an approximation of what you're going to get. So yes. this is a deluxe specific version of this game. So you know it's going to look deluxe. But we just want to put that out there. That this is not a complete and finished uh, copy of the Indeed. game. Indeed. So let's quickly talk. We already kind of did our setup. We're on our spots. We got our starting Ready resources. Let's start about talk about who we um, are. Our our um, gods here. Yeah, I have Chao Chu priests and priestesses. I have Chao Chu Kikwe. Um, and yep. so it's a, uh, the goddess of water, lakes, rivers, and streams. Basically, for me, whenever I go somewhere, I only ever have to pay one cocoa, right. which is great. Because normally, if I went to a spot it's with multiple colors, color. you have to pay um, cocoa for every color that's there. Yep. I only ever have to pay one. The thing is, is if I go to an empty spot, I still have to pay one, which means normally you'd have to pay zero. So it seems very useful, but also could be slightly annoying. If I'm like, I could do this for free, but I can't. Yeah, the flow of cocoa going out from you is at least constant, yes, right? Yes, thank God. Uh, so I've got uh, Tlaloc. So on the uh, spaces two, four, and three, the, the kind of resource gathering yep. spaces, I can, if I was to move here, for example, treat another color worker as if it was one of my own, meaning yeah. I have one more worker on that space, sweet. and it's treated as my lowest value worker. Um, so that's kind of cool. It'll be a little easier to gather resources. However, when I um, build on the pyramid or build buildings, I have to pay one extra resource of my choice. Yeah. So it's a little more expensive there. But you Hopefully probably can I've made get that. resources. That's, that's the thinking, thing, right? right? It's like, I must have made that make, you know, sense somehow. Right. So that's my uh, pro and con. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, always have a pro, always have a con. That's one thing I love about the powers in this game is it's always, decisions. it's always so interesting. Yeah. Okay. Where am I going first? Because I'm the first player. Oh man, the first move. Big. So you guys do a thing, or you can move your shaman, right? Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's an alternate uh, Ooh, type just... of turn you could take. You know what? Let's go. We're gonna go. Blam. So when they note, you're gonna go counterclockwise. Go the opposite direction. Oh yeah, you're right. That is counterclockwise. Uh, okay. Well then, I will not do that. Then I will do something else. Yeah, I was thinking thinking the other way around. Okay. So I. Oof. Let's do, I don't have, I need resources. You got, you got a little bit of everything. You have a nice little smattering. Do you, do you want stone, gold, wood? What are you thinking? Yeah, yeah, I think I want some more gold. Gold. Ooh, I don't know if I can get, I guess I can go here. I can go, boom, like that. And now I'll have to pay one cocoa. Right, I was gonna say you have to pay two, but no you don't. Normally I'd have to pay two there because your own color does count towards that. So I only have to pay one cocoa, which is great. And I have two dice there. You do? They're in the one, because the one is my lowest. So I'm gonna get one gold. I wish I could get a golden obsidian, but yeah. what are you gonna do? So I'll just get one gold there, and then I will bump, let's bump this one up to a two. Nice. Boom. Okay. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna start off by moving my shaman. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna move my shaman. We go counterclockwise for these bad boys. Uh, I'm gonna go here, and you're gonna choose which spot you wanna go to, and that's gonna point toward one of the, the next door actions. I'm gonna point yeah. toward the spot that you just used, Nick. And then right now, I get to make use of this spot. I'm gonna pay two cocoa to gain four obsidian. Mm. I just want some flexibility of resources. Four obsidian is killer. Yeah, absolutely yeah. killer. I feel like I can make some some good use of that. Because obsidian so. is wild. Um, yes. With, and certain things call for obsidian call for specifically. Obsidian. Yeah, but yeah. like, oof, that's that's pretty pretty darn acceptable. I don't yeah. hate it, you know? I don't hate it. Okay. Um, then we're going to move this. Boom. 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 Okay, so where to, you know, let's go. We're going to go. Boop, boop, just right here. It's just me now. Again, normally this would be free for me, but it's not because hey. I always have to pay one cocoa, which I'm already like, mm, it's a bummer. And I'm just going to get one stone from there because I'm in the two column there. Yeah. Flip this up to a three. Sure. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to... Hmm. I'm going to move this worker here. This works as a value too. I got to do a power up to start the game. Yep. And then of course I can pull in one of these. I have to pay two cocoa, first of all. I gotta pay, you gotta pay. You gotta pay a little we bit. You gotta pay here. Uh, I'm gonna choose, or you know, treat it as if I have two workers here. So I get to go to this uh, second row. It's a value two. So I'll be here and I'll get a gold and an obsidian. So again, a little more flexibility with the resources. Mm -hmm. Got me a gold. And then I'll power up to a three. Nice. Um, I think I'm gonna come here. Boom. Sure. Ooh, or do I want to go and get a technologar? Technologies are always so nice. Yeah. Hmm. 
The access to these three right here. Yeah, the top three. Which, you know what, let's do this. We'll, we'll stop here. We're gonna go boom, it'll cost me one Coco. Sure. Boom, I'm gonna run a little Coco. Um, and I think all these ones are gonna cost one gold. Ooh, I want the one where I can always get an extra resource, or one where I can always get a Coco when I move over station one. Mm. I, I kind of want the constant flow of Coco. So I'm gonna go here. And the cool thing is about this new one is everyone gets a set of technology tiles to remind you when you have something, which is very, very useful. So now yeah. I can remember it's a beauty. that I will get that when I go there, and then this will become a four. Yep. You can put one of your markers on there just to remind yourself you claim that. You're also going to get to move up the green temple track, which gets you a Coco. Would I get the blue one? What am I saying? Oh, my bad. Yeah. yeah. I did that. I didn't move the temple field. Blue one. I thought, you, I thought you'd gone for the resource one because that's honestly what I was thinking this Indeed. whole time about doing, so don't mind me. Indeed. By the way, Coco is not considered a resource, right? Nope. Mm, boo, I want Coco. Um, what should I get? I have three of everything, so let's just get a, let's get a stone. Okay. Sure. Um, okay. I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna move here. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. Woo, woo, here. Oh, I love to see it. <laughs> uh, I'll get to treat myself as having two workers there. I'll pay two cocos. There's two colors upon arrival. Um, but I'll treat it as if I had two workers there. So I will get to place a decoration. Why, why do you have two workers there? Hmm? Why do you have two workers? My That's ability. only two, three, four, isn't it? Girl, you're right. Okay, I was like, wait, is it on every station? Because that's bonkers. I was starting to see, I was like, I'm gonna be unstoppable. Um, <laughs> okay, okay, it's just two, three, one. Thank God. Thank God, I needed that. You know what, in that case, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go up here and up here. Yep. Uh, now one, have two, two three. Now I have two workers. This is four, so I'm considered to have three workers. Yes. Because I follow the rules Mike here. follows the rules all the time. Um, my lowest worker is a one, so I am gonna be just on this first spot. Uh, I have to pay one more cocoa because there was three colors upon arrival, not two. Um, but I'm gonna get a cocoa back. I'm gonna yep. get a gold and an obsidian. Yeah, sweet. I kind of got my people bunched up here, but I feel like I've got yeah. I've got some resources to work. Well, that's what's with. so interesting is like, you want to be bunched up because you get them s they're so much more powerful, but you kind of yes. want them to be spread out. Yeah. So it's this weird like undulating like yeah. bunched up, not bunched up, bunched up, not bunched up. And I think I'm going to make this a two, so I just have fewer of my ones. I'm talking about our season, Mikey. I don't think we mentioned this, but our oh, yes. season for this one, which is again one of the modules, um, our our uh, shamans can now move one or two spaces. Normally, they can only yeah. move one. Yeah. Um, I forgot, when you have three workers, you get to do two power-ups. I'm actually going to do both of my folks on three. Okay. All right, take it away. Take it away. Um, take it away. Let's go here. I know I have two diamond lowest is a two, so I'm going to get this middle right here, which is going to be a wood and an obsidian. I will cost nice. me, sorry, one cocoa to go there. I am already out of cocoa, though. Um, which one is it? Cocoa. Yeah, which Makes is you loco, man. rough indeed. And um, then I can increase one. Let's do this one to a three. Yeah. Kay. Okay. I'm going to go one, two, three, pay a Coco. And I'm going to gain a technology. I'm going to gain this one because I'm already suited toward getting yeah. more resources. So I might as well go all in. And you're going to need them too. It's going to cost a gold and I'm going to need them. So I'll take this, put down as a little reminder for myself. Put a claim marker out here and uh, go, go up green. the green, which gets me a cocoa. Nice, sweet. All right. Okay. Now I literally, at this point, I literally have no choice but to go somewhere to get cocoa because I cannot pay the cocoa that I need. So, where would be the best? Um, ooh. Let's do this. We're gonna go. One, two, three. I will get a cocoa because I passed over the one spot, which is my technology here. And then I'm just going to gain cocoa. So to gain cocoa, you gain cocoa one per every color there plus one, right? Yes, you gain three, right? Now. I'll gain three. So that's four cocoa. Okay, now we're now we're looking okay. Four cocoa total. Boop. Okay. All right, okay. here. So do do do. Oh man, I'm thinking. Thinking. Nick. Orange cream bubble. It's pretty good. Oh man, it's pretty good. Slaps right. hard. It's fire. Um, mm, mm, mm. Okay, I think I'm going. 
I'm gonna, let's do this. I'm gonna go, huh. <laughs> Sorry. My gosh. I've got decisions to make. Got decisions to make, hearts to break. I'm gonna go one, two, three up here. Pay Ooh. two, Coco. Ooh. Three, Coco, I'm three sorry. I was, say, I was like, yeah. Ugh. All right, that's right, that's right. What that's technology right. you got trying to get here? Uh, I'm going to spend two gold and get this one down mm. here. Oh, that's good for you. that, when you're going to construct on the pyramid, gives you, treats you as if you have an extra worker there. Yeah. And that worker provides you a discount. I have to pay one extra, so it basically nets it down yeah. zero. But I have a stronger, it's not a bad, you know, yeah. situation. It's I have not a more bad workers situation. there. Uh, that's going to move me up the red temple track and score me a victory point. We on the board? Hey. Um, yeah. So I figure, you know yeah, what? That's it's a good smart. way to kind of balance out, uh, you know, what I got going on. So Indeed. Yeah, that'd be good. Alrighty. Um, did you move this already? Uh, just now. Bam, there you go. All right, I'm gonna move here again. Normally it cost me two cocoa, it only cost me one. Um, and now I have three die in here, which means I'm in this bottom row right here. I'm still in this middle one, so I'm gonna get three cocoa though. Nice. Three cocoa and three wood, which is very nice. Um, blam. And three more cocoa, and then I can upgrade, I can power up two dice. Ooh, let's go Five and let's go four. Oh, that's not bad. Four. Nice. All right, cool. Okay, I'm going to bring a worker here and just collect cocoa. So I'll get three cocoa. Yep. There's two colors prior to my arrival plus the one you get. Yep. So three cocoa. Three cocoa. Yum. Um, okay, I think let's do this. Let's go. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, Where that's interesting. Ooh, that's interesting. I, okay, boom. Interesting, okay. I am gonna take my four and I'm gonna go boop to here and we're gonna build okay. a building. So this works slightly different. It's cost me, oh, I have to pay one cocoa. It's gonna cost me two wood and I get to build a building. Now, you're gonna build buildings out here because now this is the conquest bowl. We're going out there, you know, yeah. out there that's like, like they did. Um, and since I put a four down here, I can put a, a, a warrior out and yeah. then build a building. Correct. So I'm gonna put a warrior uh, here. Yep, that's gonna boot me out. It's gonna boot you out. Now you choose where you go, right? Yeah. Um... I'm gonna go down low. I'm gonna go down low. Because only one ever, one person can only ever be in one space with except for the very end here. Correct. And then I'm gonna build a building for two. I'm gonna build uh, this one down here. And I'm gonna replace this person. So that goes out of the game. Oh, sorry, that goes warrior. out of the game, that's right. Um, because they are now living here. I'm gonna get yeah. one point and I get a bump up a... Any temple track of your choice. Is it show orange though? Would that also it's any temple track. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can you give me a point and then... Ooh, I'm gonna go up the orange track again because now on the single dot here, which means I can choose one of these. The top one here means when I do the lock, I can don't have to pay an extra cocoa to do, do both, both of them, yeah. which is pretty cool. But I'm gonna choose this one, which gives me a cocoa every time I go to two, uh, four, or three. And again, yeah. there are reminders of these as well, which it's a good is good way to work sweet. around your again the the hold back that you have. We've, we're both finding ways to to work. Yeah, because now that on within... those spots, I'm. I don't yeah. have to pay a cocoa anymore because yeah. I'm essentially getting one and getting rid of one. So yeah, very nicely done. Okay, yeah, that's good. And um, yeah, on this one they leave the temples uh, a little more generalized, just in case you're not playing with the orange temple. Mm -hmm. So um, okay, I am. So I guess I gotta go for it. Hey, I'm gonna do this. I'm going to go here and. You know what? Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to go here instead and um, do a little wee bit of construction. So I only have uh, uh, one worker present. Well, I'm considered to have two workers because of my technology. So I could build, um, since it's a level one, on the bottom level once, and I have a discount of a resource. So on the bottom level, things cost uh, two stone. Mm -hmm. So I will pay two stone, because I have to pay one extra. You do. For my power. I'm gonna use obsidian though, because we're gonna make a bam. 
fancy pyramid. Ooh. Um, oh, jet black. <laughs> jet black. Black as night. Uh, I'm going to do this and place this here, because this is going to give me one, two matches of symbols. So it'll be two bonus points on top of the one point for building. So it'll be three. Plus, I'm making a match for the green. So I'm going to get my one, two, three points. And I'll make a match on the green temple, which moves me up here on the green temple track. And of course, worked on the pyramid, so I'll scooch down this track. So one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna claim the uh, green temple, uh, the ownership tile in the mansion here. This a reminder of that. And then I can either choose a cocoa or this discovery tile. This allows me to work, move any worker to any location I want. I'm absolutely taking that. Yeah, that's especially because it's free. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Okay. Uh, move this up. Use. Um, I think, you know what, let's do it. I'm gonna go poop, poop, poop. We're gonna come over here. Mm -hmm. So now we got two fives, which means it's gonna cost me two wood. It's gonna cost me um, one cocoa, first of all. And it's gonna cost me two more wood to build another building there. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't move myself up when I did oh, that yeah. last time. I haven't that, man. Um, and so now I'm on the five on the bottom. So now I can put out two warriors and then build a building. Nice. So we'll go. Boom, which is gonna bump me. Where do I wanna bump to? I'm gonna get two bumps here. Yeah. Yeah, upper lower track. Let's go here. Sure. And then I'll go boop, which will go bump. We'll go, ooh, do I want a mask or do I want a greater discovery? You know, let's get an early yeah. mask. And that's a special mask. That's the only one of that that yeah, exists. Yeah, let's get a special mask. And maybe I can pop over here and get this other one. Yeah. And I can build a building. I can build it in this spot or in this spot. Let's go ahead and get that special mask. Nice. So it's going to go boom. We're going to replace. They now live here. It's going to be two more points, Mikey. Yep. And then a mask. And yet again, there's another place to hold your stuff. It's very nice. It's very convenient. Um, and then one of these is going to ascend, my. Oh, yeah, nice. So that's what they turn to a six, which is the dead side. Yeah, it's going to bump this. They're, they're all too powerful to live on this plane. So, boom, that's going to go back there. Yeah. And of course, you can choose any one of the Ooh. little bonuses right here for you. Oh, man. I, for, a lot of times I end up choosing the cocoa, although we're getting close here. You know, it's one thing that's interesting. Mm. For you, if you have your fourth worker, it's not necessarily the end of the world. It clogs up stuff a little bit, but you also have lower costs. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, I have lower costs. It in creates terms more of traffic like, on the board. It does, yeah. which is good. But then it's one more thing to pay at the true. end. That's true. Yeah. So it is useful. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. I actually am going to get my my fourth. Ah! Fall into, into my trap. <laughs> I am getting my fourth one. I'm just going to be a boom. Nice. Um, okay. You do have a good pile of cocoa there. I okay. do, That's which I need, yeah, yeah. Desperately need. All right, I'm gonna move here. Kablam. Uh, and I'm gonna collect some wood. So here I do get to make use of my power. There was two colors present when I arrived. So I'll pay two cocoa for that. Uh, and now I'm gonna be considered to have three workers at level four, which is pretty sweet. So I'm gonna get yeah. five cocoa and four Ooh. wood. Wow. Yeah, that's we'll take it. That's acceptable. Um, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Um, then I can do a double ascension, or not ascension, but power up, which could lead to an ascension. Or I'm going to roll could. two people on fives. Yeah. Man. So if I ascend, it's going to move the disc, and then at the end of my turn, it's going to move the disc again. Yeah. Gosh. Seems we're getting pretty close to the end of the, end of the, uh, the round here. Trixie Hobbits. I think I'm gonna roll with fives. Yeah. I don't want these two to be fives per se by the end of the round because they cost more to feed, but we'll roll those dice. Well, not those dice, but the mental ones. Different dice. Um, oof, that would be, man. Okay. I think I'm gonna swing them, boop, or do I wanna build on the pyramid? Oh, so we need a new pyramid. Oh, yes we do. Um, I also forgot to take a major discovery when I first move my shaman, do you mind? Is it way too late? Wait, when you just go there, you get one? Yeah. Oh, no, go for it. <sighs> Shouldn't let me do that. I'll do this. That's right. I, the, the, I was thinking you have to do something, because usually you have to do something to get these, but yeah, you just get to go there. Yeah. Oh, what's in here then? Oh, well. move your shaman plus one, and you get two gold? Ooh. That's interesting. Okay, um, I'm going to do what I was going to do. Um... Man, tough, tough, tough. Yep. 
I'm trying to decide if I want to build a pyramid or build here or do like another thing over there. You know, let's just be about it. Woo! About it. Let's just be about about it. I'm sorry, I should have moved up there. again there because yep. of that. Okay, so it's going to be a two more wood and one cocoa for going there. And I'm in this spot um, here, so I get to put out a warrior. And then um, I think let's just bump down here. Boom and boom. Sure. Oh, I could just get one to... So there you'll draw from the bag two major discoveries and you keep, keep one. one. So you don't quite know what you'll get, but you know, it's something good. Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. So I'll put this building out mirror. So two two points. more points. Bye-bye, friend. Um, and then, yeah, so then I'll get two and see what we get here. Okay, so I get one where I could pretend there's an extra die, or I get double something. Oh. Double the yield. Think the double time. the yield. Wow, that's cool. Wow, that's neat. So if I get like some like up here, I could be like boom and just drop it. Wow, that's intense. Okay, oh, and then some. Uh, I don't think I want to uh, send, or should I? Because then it gets my cocoa cost cheaper. Yeah, you yeah. know what? I'm gonna send again. Boom, which wow. is gonna go blam. Um, because Ugh. then my cocoa cost is going to be a lot cheaper at the end of the round here, and I get to choose something else. I could spend cocoa to move up two tracks. I think I'm just gonna move up one track, and let's move up the blue track to get a resource. I also, yet again, forgot to move up this track. So I'll go boom, yeah. which means I get one of these. Ooh, do I just grab another mask? I mean, you get, get your underway. Start mask in. Yeah, let's go for it. I'm gonna grab another mask You can look here. around and see is that repeated anywhere in case Yeah, that's, that's good. good point. Yeah, I don't think, think you're okay. so. At least I can see right now. Sure. Um, okay, so it's gonna cost me one wood. Okay. And then boom. Nice. Okay. Okay, so. Hmm. Got an interesting idea. I, it might be so silly. <laughs> um, but I think I'm gonna do this. Just go with me, man. I'm gonna use here, my discovery you. tile. Okay. And move worker anywhere. I'm just gonna move around to here. Wow. Kapam. I have to pay a cocoa. And now I'm considered to have, well, I guess I'm always considered to have three workers. Actually, you know what? In that case, you know, I'm going to do this. Instead, I'm going to move this one back around to there. Because now I'm still considered to have three workers there. They're both five, so it's a higher level. So I'm going to get five cocoa, four wood. I have so much wood, it's just driving me crazy. You really do. And tons of cocoa. You have ten cocoa. Yeah. You lose it. And then I get to do a double uh, power-up. So I'm just going to send both of these friends... Beer. Beer. Wow. Bring them back here. That, of course, is going to <laughs> mean we're going to have like one more mark. turn each before. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. I've extended time. <laughs> um, we're going to have one more turn each and then our first eclipse. Wow. With my bonuses now, with my double ascension, double I think I'm going to spend three cocoa and do two temple bumps mm. for one since I do have some cocoa to spend. Um... Hmm, interesting. And I think I'm going to go one, two spots up the orange and take the, uh, get some cocoa when you do stuff because my two, three, and four actions are so kind of yeah. focused at this point. Um, oh, I needed to have gotten more resources there. I actually got yeah, yeah. two more wood, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, you do. Um, then for my other one, I think I will take just a standard temple bump. And I'll go up the green track and get two more cocoa. Okay. I am actually going to go, boom, I'm going to lock in here. Yeah? You're going to worship? Yeah, I think so. So I really want to do both. Well, no, yeah, let's do both. Okay, cocoa. So I'm going to spend a cocoa. Actually, spend another cocoa because yeah. this one's going to cost me a cocoa. I'm going to move the green track, though, which is going to get me a cocoa. So really, I'm only spending one. Perfect time. And I'm going to get this one. So let me to go up the Avenue of the Dead. You're going to trigger it right now. 
I imagine. Boom. That's, man, because I'm like, because that yeah. way I can do it, but not lower the cost, the, lower the which point value. Which is key, value. which is key. Because this, I mean, it goes all the way down to just being one point. Yes. And that's going to be a multiplier. So I'm kind of like, times you're, you know. That's a decent amount more points to do yeah. that, you know? Yeah. That's so big. let's go for it. That's big, man. Okay. So boom. I'm locking there. Wow. Especially because I have four dice, so I'm kind of like, eh, I could probably afford to lock one. Fascinating, my man. Fascinating. Okay, what are you doing? Um, last turn for Last me. turn. The Eclipse. Yeah, which is a shame. I wanted to have built on the pyramid more, and I, uh, as always with games, uh, lose focus <laughs> uh, and forget yeah. what I was doing because I thought that was a fun, shiny move, which I just did, which I'm not, I don't regret. Mm -mm, no regrets. I, a little bit I regret. I'm going to go here. There is no one that's in the main area, so I don't that's have to pay true. any cocoa for that. They are a lowly level one, but... Uh, I do still get to get a resource because of my technology and a cocoa um, from moving up. So I'm gonna get a cocoa. I will get a stone from the technology and then one victory point. Mm -hmm. You know, not too bad, not too bad. And we get we get out of you know the level of being one. So, so what was we'll the cocoa from that. again? The cocoa is from oh yeah, your thing. That's right. My uh, orange temple track bonus. Oh, that's right. I gotta remember that. Yeah. All right. So we are at the first eclipse. We are. Um, just like that. So uh, let's go through kind so of in order there. Pay for our people. Yes. Which is I have four dice. They're all level one, two, or three. So they're each going to be worth one cocoa. But that is all four of my cocoa. I just have three that are all, again, lower level. So I'll pay uh, one cocoa per them. Indeed. And then we kind of go through the different scoring. Yeah. So I guess we'll just go ahead and do the Avenue of the Dead because it's the farthest. So I am four bumps up there. And they're each four. So it be 16 points. Yikes. So I was like, yeah, let's try and do that 21. real quick. 21. All right. I'm not anywhere on that track. And then the the pyramid, you are definitely winning that one. Yeah, so... So you're going to get four points? I'm going to get four points per step, plus four points for being the furthest yep. on that track. So eight, 12, 12 points, points total. total. Yep. So what is that going to be? 17, okay. Indeed, and then we'll score masks. I have two masks, and so I'm going to get an extra three points. Oh, one, one, two, three. And then we'll score for soldiers out here. We each have a soldier in this area right here. The buildings don't count because those are just people in there now. Yep. So we can get one more point for that. Nice. Okay. Okay, and then we've already fed our peeps, so yep. we are going to reset. Kaboom, kaboom, and we're going to move our neutral workers, which you're going to see happen real fast because it'll be a jump cut. All right, so we got the new, uh, the neutral die in their, all their spots. The new season is that whenever you ascend and go back to one, Get instead of having order. to put them on the one, you can put them on any station you want, which is yep. very cool. Yeah. Um, does this change? Nope. Okay, cool. It's me. So, what to do here? Um, I think, ooh. Here's the thing. I have no cacao, so I am going to go... Boop, just like that, and I'm gonna gain four cocoa, one for every color that was already there. Yep, so three plus the one. So four total, because the boy needs it. So the problem is I wanna go there, but man, that's so expensive. That's very, every color of dye, that's four cocoa to go there. Doing it anyway. Wow. Um, <laughs> cause I'm dumb, no, man, I'm not smart. Wow. Uh, so I'm gonna spend four cocoa, cause there's all four colors there prior to my arrival. Um, I will be uh, considering myself having an extra worker here. Uh, from one of the other colors present, so I appreciate y'all on that. So, give me down here. I'm gonna get a victory point, two cocoa because I get plus one for my technology, uh, two stone I should say. I do get a cocoa from yep. the temple track technology and an obsidian. Nice. And I get to do two power ups. So we're loving that. Um, I will do. I'm just going from one to three. Boom. Hmm. Okay, let's go, Oof. yeah, you know what, let's go blam right here. We're going to come here, we're going to spend a gold, and I am also going to get this technology here, which allows me to get one more, um, one more resource from those spots. So now you were already there. So do you also get a bump? Is that what that is? Say again, which one are you doing? This right here. Uh, yes, I get, I oh, get, you get three, three points. points. That's right. And then I'll get a bump up there. first. Green track, which will give me a cacao. Yep. Boop. All right. Um, okay, dokie. I'm going to move. Oh, sorry, I had to pay a cocoa to go there. So I don't get that. You're good. I'm going to move one, two, three over here. Pay two cocoa. And I'm going to. Build. So now I've got two workers 
Level two, so I can go to that middle spot. Yep. So I can build twice. I can build on the first two levels, and I could unlock a worker if I had one to unlock. Remember, I have to pay one extra, do this. However, I'm sorry, I am considered to have three workers here because of my technology. So I can build three times. I'm going to get three cocoa, which is sweet. Yeah. And I can build on those first two levels. Um, so let's see how much I think we could build. I do have some obsidian to use. I think I'm gonna kind of fill out the bottom here a bit. So the first one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use two stone and a wood as my extra resource at the pay. That can be any resource that I like for the extra. And I'm gonna build this um, rather here. So I'm gonna make one, two, three matches. So I'm gonna get four points total. One, two, three, four. None of them are colors, so I can't uh, get temple bonuses. In fact, I won't at all in this turn. Uh, the next one I'm going to do a stone obsidian and my bonus will be a wood. Sorry, these don't refill right away, right? No. And then I will do this and make three more matches. Mm -hmm. So I'll get four points. Again, one point for building on the bottom level. One, two, three, four. I'm going to move now twice here. And if I wanted, I could build one more time. I think I will... Um, yeah, let's do it. So I'll go obsidian, obsidian, wood. Or actually, you know what? One of those I got the discount from, so I guess I'll save, uh, I'll save my obsidian rather than pay my yeah, wood. It. <laughs> it's my extra. Okay, and I'll do this and this. I think the best I can do is make two matches if I do that. So I'll get three points. One, two, three. Nice. Boom. Ah. All right, and I get to do a double power up. I'll just make both these threes. Boom. Okay, I'm gonna actually move my shaman. I'm gonna move them here. All right. So I'll get an obsidian. Yep. Can you um, unlock all your workers? I can unlock all my workers, so I'll go ahead and just unlock that one. And then I'll go ahead and get this one. I'll pay that obsidian to get it. I'm just going to use it. This one, I can do three power ups. Oh yeah. Um, I think I'm just gonna power up kind of everything. So I'm just gonna go one, two, three. I'm just gonna leave that one over there though. Boom. Nice. Okay. Um, you know what? I actually, I guess it was a couple spots up the Avenue of the Dead on that first thing because I had ascended twice. Oh, I ascended twice too. Crap, I forgot. You do move up. So, oh shoot, I should have gotten more points then because. Well, we're each gonna get eight more points. That sells that. There you go. We forget things sometimes. Oh, you know what? Oh, this is a mask I already have. Shoot. I was like, oh, I can get another mask too. I told you to check. I guess I'll take this one. Yeah, you can always rifle through, just for reference, you can always rifle through all the stacks to see, you know, make sure you're getting what you want. I will. What you really, really want. Um, all right. I've got all this flipping wood. Um, so I think I'm going to go... Over here, one, two spots. I'll pay a cocoa. Um, and I have a level three worker, so I can either put a, a warrior out or build. Um, I kind of want to build because yeah, I can get some you're in a spot discovery too. tiles. But you know what? I'm actually going to put a warrior out to start. So... Actually, but that only boots you out. Ooh, boy. Mm -hmm. Please do. I do have to make those decisions. I kind of want to get here to get like another technology. I'd get the yeah. lowest number technology I don't have, hmm. which I'm kind of keen on. Oh, man. Yeah, let's do it. So I'm going to put a warrior out. So I'm going to bump. I can choose where to bump, right? So I'm going to bump oh, here. Yeah, I guess in that case, so I choose. Never mind, man. I ain't going to bump you. What? <laughs> I'm going to build instead. I'm bumping you. Uh, so I'm going to pay two wood. Uh, plus one. Uh, resource of my choice. Because, I again, for my power, I have to pay extra. Um, and I'm going to turn this person into a lovely building. Be so new. that's going to score one point. Boom. And I can draw three uh, discovery tiles from the bag. Choose one to keep. All right. All right. Take it away. 
I, yeah, let's go here. I'm gonna go just boop right here. I mean, it's kind of thrown. I only have one die there, so I'm gonna get all the pay cocoa as always. So I'm gonna get one resource. So I'm gonna get one wood, actually one more because it's technology and then a cocoa. So I'm gonna get that cocoa back and then two wood. Nice. Alrighty. And that's gonna be a four now. Okay, nice. Um, oof. Agreed. What to do? I have no idea. Uh, I'm gonna go here. One, two, pay two cocoa this time. And um, this would put me in the category of three or two. But I think what I'm gonna do is use this, um, my major discovery to treat it as if I have another worker here. So I'll be actually considered to have three workers. So I can place two warriors out and then build. So, so I'll place two workers uh, warriors, I should say, mm -hmm. out. So the first one's here. Where would you like your person to get booted to? I'm gonna go boop, so boot down Keep the line. Kicking on down the road. All right, then I'm gonna put another person in Teotihuacan here. And I think I'm gonna put them down here. And then I can build. And uh, I'm gonna build, I'm gonna build here. So I'm gonna spend three wood. I have to pay one extra resource. I'll just might as well make it my most um, common resource. Yeah. Uh, boom. And I will, oh, sorry, I need to go from last time, the Avenue of the Dead, so I'll go here, getting a victory point, and I can power up three different workers. I only have three, so this will become a four. This will become a five. My friend over here becomes a four. Let me check this. Um, I'll take this one and pay a gold. I'm just gonna trigger it here in a second to get four cocoa. And I have uh, treated myself to having as having three uh, workers here. So I will double ascend or power up. So that means this person becomes a ascend five at least once. and they're going to ascend. So it's going to move me up here. I'll pay a wood for a mask. Why not? I'm not scared of no mask. We all wear masks, Nick. That's what they say in the mask. <laughs> Let's move that there. Uh, and then my bonus, the power up, I think, okay on Coco. Um, I think I'm gonna move up a temple. And uh, I'm gonna move up the orange temple. Kaboom, and I can move a person backward up to two spots. Um, I think I'm gonna move them, this one, one, two, back here. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I don't entirely know what to do here. Boop, lots of stuff I want to do. By the way, you can put that one wherever you want. Oh yeah, we're in the new, ooh! -hoo -hoo. Interesting. I think I'm gonna put them over here. Hmm. Thank you for that reminder, because I was thinking, man, I don't want them in the mansion. Yeah, right? I think I'm gonna go one, two, three to here. So I have two fours, so I'm gonna get uh, ultimately four wood. I'll have to pay a cocoa, but I'll get an extra cocoa back. But I'll essentially gonna get four wood and two cocoa. Nice. For going there. Hmm. I've run out of steam here for a sec. I think I was doing real good. I mean, that's really the goal is like, how do I keep the resources going? And then this, like a lot of other games, is like, you also, how do I run out right at the end of the game? You know, yes. right at the right time. Yeah. It's a tricksy one. But all right, all right. Uh, I am going to. Hmm. I think I'm going to go here. Boom! Join my friend. I can pull in this worker. I have to pay two cocoa. I can pull in that worker as if it was one of my own for the uh, gathering resources purposes. So I'm going to be considered to have three workers on the highest level. So I'm going to get. Four gold. Oh my gosh, I feel like you're chaining stuff together so well. Sorry, five gold, because I do also have the technology of plus one. I'll gain a cocoa for that matter. Can I get a cocoa, please? Sir, that was a, that was a tempestuous throw of the cocoa. Tempestuous. Um, <laughs> and I'll get to bump up two temple tracks, or a uh, temple track twice, even. Um, 
Ooh, it's interesting. I think I'm gonna go, oh, I wanna go up orange track. I will go up orange track one spot. I'm just gonna take this to go up the orange track again, yeah. immediately, wow. boom. Uh, and I'll choose my technology from that in just one second. And then uh, for my other one, I'm gonna go up the green and get two cocoa. Alrighty, I'll scooch there, and then I'm gonna select on your turn which of my level twos I'm gonna choose, and I'll get back to you. Okay. Man, oh man, I don't know what to do here. Yeah, I really feel like I gotta slow down. You're chained together with some great stuff. Um, I'm Trying gonna to. do that. So that's in the middle row, so I'm gonna get to put out a warrior and then um, I can build, so I'm gonna bump you out. You can go wherever you want. Oh, that's not gonna push me though. Mm. I forgot I'm gonna ascend. <laughs> okay, well then here, let me go back then because I don't think I yeah. wanna do this actually because I realize I'm not pushing, I wanted to push myself forward but I'm not gonna be able that's to. Fair. Sorry about that folks. I'm going to ascend, um, so I'll do that first. I'm gonna put the, my person back there on eight because for the season we can choose where we go. And I'm going to choose uh, to go up the green temple. Go ahead, sir. Oh my lord. Oh my gosh, fam. Man, um, I'm not sure what to do here. Because I want to push forward on here, but I can't push myself forward. So I just feel stuck. Um, dang. Let's go here and let's build on the pyramid. Sure. Um, so I'm going to have to build on the second level, which can cost two stone and two wood. Oh, sorry, the pit of cocoa when I go there. Um, and so, hmm, let me see, let me see, let me see. What do I want to put out? Is there anything that's gonna be particularly good? Um, no. It's always the things just just not quite lining up with this whole yeah. situation. Just being like them like perfectly not lining up. Oh, this one's not horrible. If I can get two reds. Oh no, that doesn't fit there though. Uh, see, exactly. It would have been <laughs> perfect, but it doesn't work. Um and then what am I even close to on this? Like nothing. I'm like not on any of these tracks really. Ugh, none of these are good. So, I guess I could do this one. Nope, 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 nope. That doesn't work. <laughs> it's killing me. I'm like, oh, this is a good spot. I'm like, nope, the hash marks are not like that. Oh, I guess I can go here. This one that actually is. Um, all right, so I'll go here. I'll make three matches. None of them are colored, so it's not going to give me any bumps, which is a huge bummer. Uh, so I'm going to get three, so I'll get six points total. That's still pretty good. That's all right. Six points ain't nothing. All right. Um, okay. Interesting. I think I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to move my five up here in worship. I'm going to lock them off. Um, because this allows me to spend three cocoa. I'm actually just going to trigger this now to get four cocoa, spend three of it on that, and then get one back here. Um, and I can gain obsidian equal to the value, the power of that die, which is five. So I get five obsidian. Kaboom. This is uh, an owned space, so uh, I get to go up the green temple track, get three cocoa. And uh, the owner gets to, which is me, gets to 
power up a die. I think I'll power up this guy to something other than a one. Take it away, man. I guess one more turn here until the eclipse. Okay, so I really need to ascend at least one of these people so that I don't have to pay as much cocoa. Mm. But I don't really want to. Sure. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use this one, which means I can move uh, a die. Yep. So I'm going to move them here. And then I'm gonna go one, two, three, and we're gonna go there. Nice. So now I have three dice there. It's unfortunately not, I can't build twice, which is a bummer, but. Um, yeah, it places warriors out first though, but which yeah. is nice. So I'm gonna go boom, I'll bump you wherever you wanna go. Let's go right there. And then I'm just gonna bump all the way down the line over to here. Nice. Uh, and then I can build, and I'm gonna build in this spot, which is gonna move me up to here. A build here, which is gonna be four points. Boom, and then I'll get this mask. Nice. Which is kill. And your warrior goes away. Yep, they'll go away. Boom. Um, and then I can ascend two things. Ooh, I think I will. I think I was gonna send both of these butts. Whoa, so you're gonna top out on the Avenue of the Dead. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Which is pretty quick. Both of us have flown yeah, up, that run up that track. Yeah, we've this anywhere. Yeah, for now, it's a good time to do it because it's the last chance to um, place them let's specifically. Let's just go like, I'm just going to spread them out a little bit. Sure. Okay, so wow. uh, it's going to be boom, both up here. I will spend a cocoa and a wood to get that. I'm sorry, I should have um, one less cocoa because I forgot to pay when I got there. Um, so boom. Nice. Okay, um, and then two things. I think one of them, I have to take the five cocoa. Sure. And then I'm trying to think, like, should I just spend three of that cocoa to bump up two tracks? What's in here? Ah, oh, that's a good question, man. That is another mask. Mm, that's not could you afford to pay for the mask? Yes, right. I could. So I think I'm gonna spend three cocoa. So I got my five, and I'll spend my three to bump up two. I'm gonna go bop, bop. One, I will become uh, the leader of this temple, I suppose. Yes, you will. Boop, so there's all that. And then I will go ahead and spend a wood to get this mask. Boom, boom. Nice. It's got a lot of math. Both of them have been doing a lot. Yeah. Um, and that's can use bam, what bam, we got. bam, 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 and this is super eclipsed. Uh, yes, so. Right, you get one more turn, I think, uh, right? Yeah, so, I'm trying to think, oof. I think Oof. what I want to do is, if we can get a new pyramid tile, yeah. that'd be fantastic. I'm not going to build on the pyramid, but I think I'm going to add a decoration to it. Fair. So I'm going to move here. Got to decorate a little bit. Yeah. I have to pay two cocoa. Um, now, one thing I got on the orange temple track is the ability that when I go to the decoration spot, I'm considered to have one more worker there. Just, we'd get, you have so I, many abilities I to do that. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going for it. So I'm considered to have three workers there. My lowest is a level one, unfortunately, but it does get me to the spot where I'll gain two gold and then I can do a decoration. So I will gain two gold and then I'll spend three gold, which is the standard cost for decorations. And I am going to add this one here to this spot. So this always gets you three points, plus I made two matches, so I'll get five points, and one of them is going to get me up the green temple, which gets me three cocoa. Sweet. And that's, I think that, I get to do two power-ups, since I'm considered to have three workers at this spot, so I'll just make it a two and a three, eh? Either wow. way I do, it's gonna be a two and a three. Yep, exactly. Okay, second eclipse. Ooh, okay. So, first thing I guess we'll just feed our people. I'll have to pay four cocoa because all mine are under, all pretty pretty weak right now, actually. Yeah, I have to pay, oh, I have to pay four because I do have one yep. that's five. Okay, and then we'll do the Avenue of the Dead. I am up to the ninth spot. Mikey, you're at the seventh yep, spot. So. so, times three, so it's 21 for Mikey. This would be 69, hilarious. Hilarious amount of um, points. And then I get 27. Yep. Uh, what is that? Uh, that's going to be no, sir, 70. 
70? No. Yeah. 27? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, cool. And then we'll do the pyramid. So you definitely won the pyramid. Oh, so now and it's I just be, bumped up once did. more so for the decoration. Be, uh, four times three now. So that's so 12. 12. So 16 for Mikey total. Yep. So four points bonus being for being the leader. Boom. You'll get three points, looks like. Yep. Jealous. Um, and then uh, for masks, I do have five masks, which is going to be 15. Nice. I have one. Boop. One does give me Boop. one point, right? Yeah, something. And then for our warriors, so Mike and I will each get one for this one. I'll get two for this one. So I'll get three. Boop, boop, boop. Mike, you'll get one. Oh, it's contentious, man. <laughs> we just, we just, we I keep, know. Keep, I'm like, well, let me other. stay in the lead, keep man. Keep jumping each other. No, I don't want you to. You're just going to keep taking the lead? That's illegal. Go away. All right, we're going to reset this up. Jump cut. All right, man. The final era has begun. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, my gosh. I know. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We're oh, my stars. almost over ones right now, which is yeah. not the end of the world, but it's also not, like, great. Yeah. Um, Our new season, by the way, is if you oh, yeah. go up a temple, you can pay two cocoa to go up a different temple, excluding the orange. Yes. Excluding the orange. Which is... Still pretty Still great. pretty cool, yeah. Pretty great. Still pretty cool. Oh, I've got a bunch of ones, and I just don't know what to do with them all. Yeah. Don't love it. That's what's really fun that I really enjoy about this game is the kind of self-balancing that happens with that, where it's like, you, right. of course, want to be as powerful as possible, but then you have to lose that power. You want to be by yourself, but then you got to spread back out. Yeah. Um, Just, man. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go one, two, three. We're going to lock in. Okay. Um, no, actually, oh, gosh. Hmm, maybe I don't want to do that. I do want to get that mask, but about, I want to be able to do both. I want to bump up the orange track, and I want to get the mask, but yeah. I would take me two cocoa, and I don't have two cocoa. Ooh. Um, I mean, can you do a turn before that? That is a good idea. Oh, yeah, idea. for sure. But, yeah, just trying to think, like, ooh, what do I want to do? Okay, I'll, I'll, do, I'll swing over here. I'll go boom. I'll get a cocoa because I passed over eight. Um, yeah, yeah. I passed over one, rather. And then I'll get three more cocoa for going to that spot. Collecting, yeah. Nice. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, man. I'm in this thing where I locked this worker. Yeah. And I don't hate it, but I'm not loving it. Right. Um, I, mean, I could pay to unlock something them. to get to a spot to unlock it. Yeah. But I also like that I have my people over there on the spot. You know what I'm going to do? All right. I'm going to pay three Coco. I'm going to unlock them. Okay. I'm gonna unlock that worker. Did unlock all mine, but of course they're the only one that's unlocked. Yeah. They're locked up. So um I think I'm just gonna go here. Uh and pay two Coco. And then I can be considered to have two workers here. Um and let's get some stuff. So, they are a five. I'm considered to have two workers. So I'm going to get two victory points and three stone because my technology grants me an extra stone for this. Um, I will get a cocoa from my orange temple ability. Uh, and two points. We'll take it. Need to catch up. Uh, and then they are, of course, going to ascend... <laughs> now they do move back here. I wish we saw that last season's power because, man, right? that'd be nice. It'd be great. Um, so let's see. I think I'm going to go up a temple. I'm going to go up the green temple and get four Coco. Yeah. Um, and do I pay two Coco to, to pop a different temple track? I really haven't made much progress. Yeah, you've kind of gone mostly up one. But I think I'm going to spend two and go up red and just get a victory point. See mm -hmm. if I can maybe work that a little bit. Yeah, right. Um, and then I move up the Avenue of the Dead. This does shorten that down. At the end of my turn means it moves again. Yeah, I think, hmm. I'm trying to think of whether or not I'm being short-sided. You know? Well. It's a big question. Yeah, I'm just like, what am I We never at? know. No, we don't. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to lock in here. Sure. Uh, I'll pay a cocoa and then a wood. The wood to get this mask, the cocoa to do both. And I am going to bump this up. I think I'm going to get two wood back. 
Nice. Boom, just because it gives me yet another mask. Because I have so many, I'm like, well, I, I feel like I kind of should go like, spend this last round trying to get as many masks as I can, because you can get like crazy points at the end of the game for it. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Um, that it for you? Yeah, I don't All right. nothing else. I'm gonna go one, two, three down here. I'm gonna pay two Coco. Um, and just collect, uh, I guess I'll be considered to have two workers, so that only gets me one wood, but I do get a bonus wood and Ooh. a cocoa. Hold on. Sorry, I could have spent a two cocoa to move a different track. You huh? can, would you like to? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna bump up red as sure. well. There you go. Um, okay, I've done my thing. I'm just gonna power up here, do a two. All right, we're gonna go lock. Except I'm not gonna do both. I'm just gonna do the mask. Okay. Coco, because the orange track, I'm so far behind, and I'm like, I just don't know getting up here in this last round if it'll make that big, like the bonuses will make that big a difference. So I think I'm just gonna not go up that. Okay. But I will get this mask. Wow. She gives me seven. Wow. That's a lot. I mean, that's gonna be 20 plus points, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, 28 at least. Wow. You can get another one, you're up into the yeah. stratosphere. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you do have done that after my last turn. Uh, I think it's back to you, right? Because that was you finishing off. No, your... I just did this one. That's right. Okay. Oh, sorry. Can we get two new uh, thingies? Yeah. All right. Ooh. The old fable don't have to pay your peeps. Ooh, I love to see uh, it. Okay, can I move mine over to the decoration space, please? So I've got three workers here um, in the second category. So I'm going to get two gold, and then I can do two decorations. Um... And I guess I do have two, four, six gold here and a bunch of obsidian still. Um, okay. I'm going to get a new decoration right there, actually, before I go. Hmm. Let's see. Choices, choices. Fascinating. All right, I think for one of them, I'm going to do this. So this is always going to get me three points plus one for the match. So I'll get four points. One, two, three, four. I made a match here, so I'm on this spot. I think maybe we jump over to the end. I'll double check that. Um, so that's gonna do that. Kaboom. Um, I'll pay two Coco to go up the red and get two more points. Then for my second build, I will take this and again, I'll make a match with one half of it, so I'll get four points. One, two, three, four. Plus I bump up the red track for matching the red, so I'll get two more points. And I don't think I should be that frivolous with my cocoa, so I probably won't, uh, <laughs> won't just jump um, into paying for more temple bumps. But I want to, though. Yeah. I really want to. But I'm not going to do it. Yeah. All right. You want to check and see if it's stopping uh, those spaces? Yeah. I think you jump over, but I will double check while you go. Yeah. I'm, I'm, boop. That's how like, fast it happens, man. And that's why I was like, should I be short-sided and just lock these dice? And now I'm kind of like, man, the only two dice I have are in one spot and they're both ones. So I'm kind of like, I don't know if this is a good idea because I don't know how much else I'm going to be able to do here. Yeah, you stop on it, and this gives you the um, ability to score. Okay, that's what I thought. I was like, I think yeah, I don't know remember, if you do Yeah, because I would have to spend either three Coco or, like, an entire turn to unlock all my people. And yeah. both those seem... I don't have the Coco. I'm spending an entire turn doing that. seems like a very bad idea. Um, but I'm full of that. I forgot to do my power-ups. Hmm. Let's go one, two, three. Oh no, I can't because I'll, I'll have to build the bottom row, which I can't do because the bottom row is full. Shoot, yeah, both these being ones is kind of really um, screwing me up right now. Who knew? Like, I don't know what I can do really that's even gonna be like useful at all. Hmm. Um, shoot, I'm not sure. Sorry. You can edit all this out. I don't worry about that. I gotta leave it in, man. I always leave thinking in. Gotta leave the thinking in. Cut it all out so you look like a computer. <laughs> so I look like a computer, a computer person. Um, 
Sorry, I think I'm gonna spend my turn getting my dice out. I think it's just I'm gonna end up being completely hamstrung yeah. for the last like three or four turns if I just have these two it, ones. It happens. I mean, I think you made good use by locking. Yeah, I mean, your it's, dice. it's a lot more points, but yeah, it's just like I think I'll have to spend my whole turn doing it, which seems sure. very wasteful. But hey, well, it does mess up my life a wee bit. Um, just a wee bit though. Just a bit. I think. Um, good golly. I'm trying to do something specific here. And I'm trying to think of what's the smartest. Hmm. All right, I think I'm going to take this person and go one. Oh, we have such a little time. Yeah, it's going to be rough. Then we go one, two, pay two, Coco. Oof. <sighs> and gather resources. So I'm going to get a Coco back. I've got a level three. Consider to have two workers here because I'll pull in one of yours. So I'll get two gold and an obsidian. I have so much obsidian. And I just honestly <laughs> have been like, I want to wait till it's the right time to use it. Yeah, Probably should, the right time. You should have used it. Probably the right time is now. Um, and I will bump, actually, can I do this worker instead? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'll bump them up to a three after that. Uh, I just, yeah, again, efficiency. You know what? I'm going to have done that. Boom. So I had three workers there so I can do a double bump. Use my shaman. All right. Um, the problem is I also only have like one cocoa, which is not like great either. It's so actually changed what I do, so I'm going to do a temple bump, and I'm just going to now get to the top spot here and yeah. get five points. Boop. Yeah. Yeah, I have, like, nothing. So, like, I feel like I have to go here and just get Coco, because I'll get four. Um, yeah, man. I really feel like I'm just flailing here. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, getting those masks definitely is going to give me a lot of points, but, like, I think it just kind of hamstrung the, my whole last round here. It feels like it at least. We'll see what we can pull out, but. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna go one, two, three. Gonna pay a Coco, do some alchemy. Uh, since I have a level four, I can choose from uh, either row, but I'll forfeit a power up if I choose the bottom which I'm honestly okay with, because I'm gonna do this for two gold. So when I get decorations, um, I can get four points, which makes sense, so I'll do that. Okay, and that will get me a claiming of this, which will get me a blue. We're on the blue track, baby. I'm gonna take a gold. We're there. Um, I'm gonna go one, two, three. I'm going to get a code for passing this, but I'm just going to leave it because I'll have to pay it once I get here. Sure. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to spend a gold, and I think I am going to do this technology. Boom. Um, which is going to be that one. So I'll do five or six, um, which is, does that happen right away? Say again. Because it says five or six. I'm at five. Does that happen right away? Do you know? Like me getting three points for doing that. Ooh. Stand by. I'm not entirely sure. Why are you looking at that? I'll bump my red track, which is gonna be boom. I could pay two Coco to go up and says another. after performing the action. Let's say so. Sure. Take your three points, man. Boom. The people in the comments will certainly not mention it if we're wrong. Oh, exactly. Um, and so now I'm just like, should I pay two Coco? The main thing is I wanna bump up the red track again, yeah. but I can't because I have to bump up a separate track. I see if I want to do the thing for the season. So I don't think I am going to spend the two cocoa to bump up a separate. You know, sorry, I keep forgetting that word there. Track, oh my gosh. So you should have like two turns left? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Can I do what I want to do? Do, I do. Think so. <laughs> um. Man. It's a fine question you ask. Um, <laughs> all right, speaking of, is it me? Yeah. I'm going to go, let's think about this, sir. Sir? Oh, sir. Uh, 
Yeah, all right. Oh, I'm going to go one, two, three over to here at the pay of Coco. All right, so now I've got three workers there. Really, four workers there. You really do. But that doesn't matter. Uh, three workers there, uh, level three. So that's going to put me on two gold and two Mets. builds. Yep. All right. So I'm going to spend a total of four gold and two obsidian to do this. Um, so let's see here. Oh, we've got a wild. Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right, we'll do this one first. So that'll make a match there. Um, so I will choose to go up the red track with that. Trying to see, I can get two points or. Um, I'm sorry, this should be. Yeah, I'll spend a there. wood to take a mask. No, you don't take that mask. Oh, you knew it was there? Yeah, and that's what I've been trying to do this whole round. Oh, man. Well, that's on you, bro. I can't move up the red track. I keep trying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to claim. I don't Damn. mean to be mean about that. Sorry about that. Um, I didn't realize you were so far behind. It. And I, I know I've been, I, I've been, I've been desperately trying masks, to be like, yeah. how can I? Because I, like, I was like, okay, I'm going heavy masks, right? Yeah. So I was like, I think that's the last knot. That's the last mask I don't have that's out. Sure. So I was like, how can I get up the red track? And I've been desperately with all my ones and crap trying to figure out like, how do I get up this red track <laughs> to get to that mask that Mike just took? So my life is over. You hate to see it, girl. Dang, um, that sucks. Okay. All righty, all righty. All right, I'm gonna place this here. It's going to be four points for the matches. I need, what, three, four points for the first one, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, I don't make any bumps. And then when I do the decorations action, I get to get four bonus points. All right. Sorry, now I have to rethink ev everything I was Sorry, trying to do these last couple man. turns were just me trying to get up that dang red track to get that mask. Well, while you think about that, I'm going to... Oh, do Oof. two power ups. I think that is going to be the end of me. Is this after? I, you I, I, I just me? moved it. Ah! Do I want? You can end it. Well, you know, we get one more turn, but. Man. Um. Oh, I may have made a silly. I may have made a silly. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go one, two, and ascend. So I will put this on here. I think I'm just going to take five cocoa. Shoot, what's going to be the most useful? Mm. I mean, I probably should do this because I think it's going to give me the most points. It's not going to give me a ton. Um. But I can spend two stone and a wood to build what is going to get me the most points. It's going to be three points plus, well, I might as well, I guess, do this one because I at least can get a, another match. So I'll get four points and I'll get a buff of red track, which will give me six. You can move me over to two. Alrighty, and that's my last turn. I right. mean, I have enough cocoa, but yeah, it's left here on five, which is a bummer. Um, right, well, your last turn, what you doing? It's a good question. I'm gonna go here. Oops. I'm gonna go one, two, three. I'll lock this worker. Um, mostly because I have all these resources and I gotta use it, but then if I go with a four or five, I can twice. actually build twice on the pyramid. Yeah. So, can I get a new pyramid tile? Let's see what kind of matches I can make. Um, I do have to pay my extra, and I don't gain any benefits from technologies and things. It's just two yeah. tiles, but I'm paying straight up plus one per, but uh, I feel like it'll be a good move. Um, so the first one I'll do is on level two, which is gonna cost me two stone, a wood, and then a resource of my choice. I'll just make it another stone. Um, All righty. And then I'm going to place this one here so I can make three matches. So I'll get nice six points. Um, 
and then a bump up this. And then for my final action, you go on a third level? Uh, you got the resources. Yeah, that would obsidian. require what? Two, two. So I need five things. I got five obsidian. Let's go for it. Yeah. Might as well. Oh, yeah. Good eye. Uh, and I can make. Oh my gosh, you can make a four matches. Four matches. <laughs> of course, he can do it. Oh my god. I didn't see that. That was all Nick, man. Wow. That was all Nick. So that's going to be nine points total. I get partial credit for this loss. <laughs> Uh, this makes up for the last time we played just recreationally, and I got slammed. Yeah, it's I'm true. already at the top of the the um, yeah the green track. green, so I won't bother. I don't have the cocoa to spend to to do um, anything else with that. So uh, that's that, man. That's that. All righty. So last eclipse here, pay for people. I'm gonna have to pay five cocoa. Uh, I will have to pay four. Um, okay, and those will be the dead. It's going to be, I get 27. Mike, well, get I guess I did max out in my last. That's right, so where each going to get 27. Uh-oh. Um, so you're going to get 61. All right, you're on 129. All righty, we'll do the pyramids. I didn't do anything. Well, no, I did one. So yep. I'll get two points for that. Whereas what? Mikey's going to get 12. Um, and then four more is going to be 16. Um, boom, 77. Okay. All right, and then the masks, I'm going to get uh, 28. Yeah, well, I'm getting three, 59. so get wrecked. All righty. And I think that's it, yeah? Yep, so... Well, uh, don't you know we have these? Yep. So you're going to get... Oh, you're about to, you're about to go even more. Uh, yeah, so for the end game, I got to this uh, step right here. So my level one, two, three, or work... One, two, or three power workers are worth four points. Fours and fives are worth nine. So I do have two workers that are mm -hmm. lower, one that is higher. So I will get eight and nine is 17 points. 17. One, nine to them. All right. All right. Let's just double check if there's any. Oh, we didn't get our warriors. Oh, yeah, sorry. We didn't do our warriors. That's right. So we're going to get one. Uh, you'll each get one, and then I'll get two more. Boop, boop. All, All right. All right, then. All right, destruction. You love to see it. I mean. Yeah. Okay, here's yeah. the thing. But did you get a healthy score? Yeah. Yes. I think 162 so. is good. That's pretty good. 198, plus. slightly stronger. A little stronger. Yeah. A little stronger. Just a little bit. Well done, man. The point is, we did some good work on a we pyramid. Did. We, it's we just built decorated it all, all to heck. heck yeah, we, we went out. We did some stuff. Yeah. We explored. Look how many buildings we built. We both just died so we died much. Died like a lot of so times. So much. But so it's a good times. thing. In the game, yeah, it, it is. It is. So good game, my man. Indeed. Uh, it's just fun to go. So Let's much stuff. Wild and YOLO the whole thing. <laughs> so that was boom. boom. The big Teotihuacan Deluxe Master oh. Set, at least in prototype form, but it's looking pretty good A already. Very good game by you, yes, indeed. Yeah, I, I did all right. Did I mean, I feel good. pretty good about you it. You did good, boy. Just saying, I just got some people. Someone talks here. Yeah, you did good, boy. That's ex historically very accurate. I'm sure <laughs> we're not going to uh, investigate if that's accurate or not. Uh, check this one out if you are interested. Again, there'll be links to the campaign for it in the comments below. Big thanks to Board and Dice for sponsoring this Indeed. playthrough. Uh, Teotihuacan is a game that we've loved for a long time. And so it's always cool to see games kind of get deluxified. And also Where's there's a bunch of expansions cool? put into one nice yeah. box, which is very good because... Our normal set is the box lift is about Lid yay, about and the box much. is only yay. Indeed. So it's nice to put it in one big box. <laughs> Indeed. So that's going to be it for us here at the Game House. Thank you so much for being here, and have a great day. Bye.